We're in McLean, Virginia on a road called Bellevue Road. It's a really cool road that kind of goes between Tolston and Old Dominion. It winds through here, but it's all wooded lots, big land. Um, it's a lovely location within McLean, but you feel like you're way out in the country. Um, homes on this street range, range from uh, about a million two at the low end, um, just for a lot, all the way up to um, eight, nine million dollars. Um, but this house is an older home that is nice because they've redone the whole thing. It's five bedrooms upstairs, plus a loft, plus three bathrooms upstairs. Um, and uh, the kitchen's being redone. It's got a nice patio in the back. As you can see, they added addition over there um, and um, painted the house all white. So it really is good looking home, sitting up high on the hill, overlooking everybody. Um, you can kind of look down on everybody else, but it's a really nice location and a prime piece of real estate. But without any further ado, let's go inside and check it out. So as we come inside, you'll see that it's a standard, you know, center hall colonial staircase going up. They've got a little library over here with a fireplace, den or family room, whatever, however you want to use it. So as you can see, you have a big, large living room here, um, hardwood floors. You've got brand new windows, all painted. You've got hardwoods into the kitchen area as well, into the um, little den as well. We'll get to that in a little bit, um, but it's a nice space. So this space here, um, how it can be used is this was where they put their dining room table um, so that they were eating a little bit more inf informal because you're right in the kitchen. Um, but it gave them access to get out to the backyard. Um, this could also be a family room area if, you, if you'd rather. And you could make the living room into the dining room or even the little den into a dining area over there. But makes a lot of sense having it here. But you can see what they did was they took out the wall from the dining room, made it all open to the kitchen, made a huge kitchen, got the center island, <clears throat> stainless steel appliances, range over here, refrigerator, plus a wall oven and a speed oven over here, all hardwood floors, quartz countertops, but they even gave themselves more space over here with lots of cupboards, then goes out to the garage. Um, back here in the corner, you have a main level powder room, which cool toilet. It's the tank is inside the wall. That's very interesting, very neat, very European. Um, you got European countertops and, and cabinetry in here, but lots of space for storage with these pantry cabinets with the pull out drawers as well. So for most people, they're going to use this as an office or a den, um, library, uh, the, they do have a loft that can also be used that way, but this is a nice little space. It's got a fireplace in here. You're right at the front of the property. You're out looking over the land and there, and very nice with this marble, chipped marble, um, fireplace and mantle surround. So here's one bedroom. It's got a little wall that's kind of on an angle here because they added a master bedroom suite and they needed a hallway to get to it, but it's a good sized bedroom. Nice for, um, you know, young people. So there are two bathrooms that service the four bedrooms that are not the primary. This is one of them. You can see that it's got new countertops, vanity, um, 
mirror, you know, faucets, and then you've got the tub and commode that are all new as well, new tile and, and in there as well. So the other bathroom, again, all new, vanity, fixtures, toilet, tub, tile, surrounds. Then, now you have three other bedrooms. Got one, two, and three that are all serviced between these two hall bathrooms. So on our way into the primary suite, which is over here, you have the loft going up, staircase going up to the loft. You've got a large laundry room with a window, which is nice and new tile, everything. So now you have the primary bedroom. This is all an addition that was added on, but it's a nice big room. It's got two entrances into um, the primary bathroom. You've got one closet here, got another over that way, water closet, vanities and sinks with a lighted mirror, and then coming back here, I love this. This is, you got a showerless, doorless shower and tub open and then beautiful view out the window there as well. So now we have the loft and because they were doing this extension, they decided to go up another level and give another library or a kid's retreat or a teen retreat. Um, it's got this little deck out here that's kind of cool because you, it's all glass walls. You can look out into the, I mean, when the leaves are green, you can't even see that house over there. And then you got a fireplace up here, place for TV above. I mean, really a great teen hangout. Out back here, we have a nice patio, got a little covered patio off of the family room, and then um, nice patio all the way along the back of the house. You can kind of see the upper deck up there that comes off of the loft. Um, but, you know, you're here in McLean. You got your Langley School District on an awesome lot where the lot is about 1.2, $1.3 million by itself. And here you're getting a nice house that's been redone for not a lot more than that. But like I always say, you gotta get to see the house. So if it's something that might look, be something that you're interested in, give me a call. My name's Casey Marganow, Casey Marganow Fine Homes. 703-827-5777. That's 703-827-5777. And thank you so much for watching.